In this video, I am going over six ways that you can make your video editing demo reel the best that it can be. I recently updated my own reel and it got me thinking about the key factors of what makes a great demo reel. So let's get into it. Keep it short. Assuming that this is just a highlight reel of your general work, there's really no reason it needs to be more than two minutes. You have to consider both the amount of time that the client is able to invest in watching your reel and also their own attention span, which is probably just as short as your attention span. So keeping it as short as possible is a much smarter approach to making sure that they watch the entire thing and get a full sense of your work. Show the best stuff first. Sure, seems obvious, but we have a tendency to want to build up videos as if we're telling a story. But a demo reel is not a story. The demo reel is a highlight. And if you want your client to see the very best work that you can offer, you really need to consider putting that in the very front of your demo reel. To this point, Consider what you really want to highlight. What kind of client are you looking to get? What kind of video are you interested in editing next? These questions might change your thinking of what makes the best content to put at the front of your demo reel. If we haven't met yet, I'm Colleen and I'm your video editing mentor. In this channel, I teach you how to get a video editing job and how to get paid doing what you love. So for more tips on that, be sure to hit subscribe with the bell so you do not miss a thing. Don't slack on the music. Finding music can be pretty tough for a reel, especially if you don't already have a subscription to a music platform. Now you can search non-copyright music on YouTube and find a lot of options. You can also visit YouTube's audio library. With either of these options, you're going to find a lot of music that is not going to cause any issues for you moving forward as far as copyright claims go, which is always good. My suggestion is here is that you get creative. Maybe layer multiple music tracks or maybe look for different sound effects that you can incorporate into your sound. Consider multiple reels for different niches. If you're having trouble squishing things into just one reel or if you're trying to get a job in multiple video editing niches, this could be really beneficial for you. Then depending on who you're sending this to, you'll know that you always have the right real for the right client. I've done this in the past and if I were going to do it again now, I would do something like a reel specifically for social media, a reel specifically for YouTube, and a reel specifically for narrative films. If you made it this far and you are loving this video, I would so appreciate it if you can hit the like button below so this video can spread to more people. And for more details on how to get your first job as a video editor, you can always check out my Skillshare class and receive a free month of Skillshare just by clicking the link in the description below. Where to put it? Now, of course, we know that YouTube and Vimeo both are great platforms to put your reel on. Vimeo being the slightly more professional option, but both of them work fine. You can feel free to leave it public on your account. Mine is unlisted on my YouTube just because it kind of blends in with the rest of my videos and I'd rather just keep it unlisted. But however you have it, you can just share the link with your client when you want to share your portfolio with them. Now, if you have a website or an Adobe portfolio, page, this can be a great opportunity for you to not only share your demo reel as well as multiple other demo reels if you'd like, but on top of that, you can also have a paragraph next to each video explaining a little bit more of what kind of content is in each video and how each specific video pertains to different clients. Consider a case study approach. Maybe you have a specific client that you'd like to highlight in more detail. This is something that you could do again on a website or an Adobe portfolio page where you could have the video on one side and maybe a small paragraph or two on the other side explaining what you did for that client, how it affected them, how you helped grow their channel or their company and accompany it with a highlight reel, if you will, of that specific client and everything you've done for them. This of course would take a little bit extra work, but it could be a really nice thing for the client to see as if it's like a visual resume section, giving them a closer look on exactly everything that you put in to the client and the client's experience. Now, if you are updating your portfolio in order to apply to a new job, I highly encourage you to check out this video 
next, which gives some juicy advice on how to ace your next video editing interview. Be sure to subscribe for more tips on video editing, creativity, and freelance lifestyle. Thank you to my team. Again, I'm Colleen, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.